everybody, welcome back to Let's Play 6180 The Moon. Let's just turn that down so I don't show up on recording. Let's jump right in to the... What the hell? My wire. Oh. Just a second. We have not... We have got a response... Oh, I missed that cutscene. I know, this is just a regular song, but we have got a non-responsive controller. Respond. Oh god, do I have to reset it up? Oh no, there we go. Okay, we're good. We are here. Moon meets Mercury again. Who are you? Don't come any closer. Moon says... Wait, did that text just get smaller? The moon says that text just got a lot smaller. Well, hello there. Have you found the sun? Yes, I have. I'm going back to meet him again. Sure you did. Why does the text keep changing from bigger to smaller? I know that's, I should be reading the story, but that's been a little bit jarring to me. Sometimes science cannot explain everything and try to be more flexible. Mm, I don't understand. Anyway, you are free to pass. Goodbye. I hope you will be more well-rounded the next we meet. The moon keeps on walking. Indeed he does. CR10. Reverse levels. Oh god, yeah, I remember this. This is the upside down, isn't it? So this is where it's all upside down. And you've got to be very careful with how you proceed. But yes, uh, we are going to finish off 6180 the moon sometime this week. Wait a minute, I hit the button. One activate then. It broke that one. What? Oh no. Oh no. It breaks the far one. Especially when I do that out. But while we're figuring this out, because I might have to stop the recording, I'm going to go through a few things because we are going to finish 6180 the moon by the end of this week. Hopefully, don't do that. Hopefully within, you know, the next, let's say, day or so, like maybe have it done by Saturday, because right now I'm caught my, both myself and my channel are going through quite, uh, quite a few changes, like, um, I just keep messing this up. Both me and my channel are going through quite a few changes, like I have a friend who has shown me some programming stuff which will be coming, which will be very useful later on. rocket you up. I don't know. But yeah, me and my channel are going through quite a few updates, and this is why I'm not going to be playing puzzle games much on the channel anymore, because my commentary is indeed being very stifled with, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. It's just, like, what are we doing here? I mean, games can have puzzles in, but this is obviously completely based around puzzles, and while it is indeed a fantastic game, which you should all check out. Mm. While it's indeed a fantastic game, you should check out. It doesn't make for the greatest commentary. Uh, no, I, I don't understand how to do this. Can I get through those blocks? Am I just being stupid? There must be a way through these blocks. Just give me a second. Blocks, blocks. Let me just press all the buttons. There is no way through the blocks. Huh. happens if... No, no, I don't get it. I do not get it. So I will probably be figuring this out off screen when we take a pause because my driver space is getting quite low. And you know what? I'll just stop the... I'll just stop playing here for a second just so that I can figure this out and then I'll come back when I've figured it out. Oh, I'll just finish off what I was going to say originally. So my channel is going through a lot of updates right now. I am learning some programming which 
will certainly serve to be so entertaining in the coming future. And a friend has given me all of these wonderful things to help the channel grow and make the experience more entertaining for you guys. And I'm like, oh my god, all of this stuff is like really amazing. And I was thinking like, oh, but I don't want to just kind of cram it in to what we've got going now because it just would feel a mess and it's like, oh, we've got this whole thing lined up and I'm, I don't want to spoil too much of it. That's why I'm not even saying like who's who I'm like working with, even though my friend isn't on YouTube. It was like, we, we had this whole thing and it's like, I don't want to spoil too much, but it's like, I, w I want to basically have the fresh start for all of these fantastic things that I'm, I'm looking, I am so looking forward to and I really hope you're looking forward to as well and I'm just like, I want to just finish all the Let's Plays, like you may have noticed Terraria finished, I'm going to finish this one by the end of the week and then like, mm, September might be a little bit of a squeeze because we're already only like a week off September but come October, like throughout September I'm just going to through all of our current Let's Plays just get them all done then come set, uh, come up like the 1st of October oh, it's gonna be beautiful so I'm gonna take a pause right now and I'm gonna figure this out because I don't get what I'm supposed to do here but just to let you know just look forward to all of the, the fantastic stuff that's coming in October like there's gonna be so many updates and I'm even making a second channel for specifically for one of the things that my friend has given me. But let me let me just take a, a quick stop here. Let me figure out how the hell I do this puzzle because I don't see any way around this. Guys, I'm a total idiot. I didn't even see this button here. That's why Spyro doesn't play puzzles. Alright, yes, resume please. Resume. So yeah, Spyro didn't see the puzzle. So Oops, that was six minutes wasted, wasn't it? That's okay, though. That's okay. Let's just hit the first switch, and then we'll do a jump to get rid of all this. Get back onto our podium, and we'll jump up. Oh, you can't jump up and over the first one. Oh, I've got to use momentum then. So, we're going up. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's so hard because... Like, getting to the sun was easy, but because we're on the ceiling now, it's like, oh Christ, we're on the ceiling. This is crazy. Because we've got to be like, whoop, and then do this. Break this switch, and there you go, we're in now. We're, we're getting there now, but, oof. I think these reverse levels might actually... <laughs> I think these reverse levels might actually take more than one video to do because they are actually getting kind of, kind of hard. As you can see by there, because like, upside down, it's not so much that it's disorientating. I mean, it is like, quite disorientating, I will certainly give it that, but it's also like, when you're upside down, I seem to be moving a lot faster than when I was before, so you've got to have a better reaction time as well. So let's just knock all these out, and then when we go, we should go like that. Oh man, you, you move so much faster. It's crazy. It's crazy how fast you move. I can't even react to this. Oh, it's like... Get the whole shebang out of the way here. Oh, this is this is so fast. This is so fast. Hey, that's that's okay because you know this is the end of the game. It's supposed to be a whole lot faster and a whole lot harder. But my word, is Mercury or Dark Mercury kicking my ass a little bit here? So I'm like trying to push across earlier than I should, but if I push across earlier than I should, then I hit that top spike, but if I push too late, I end up hitting the bomb spike. It's not good. It's not good. Oh, I that. So, we're gonna, like, do this the smart way. We're gonna take it slow and steady, do it the smart way. We're gonna land, I'm gonna jump through the gap. Oh, well, it's alright, we've landed. Even if the block breaks us, we have now 
reached a checkpoint, I will I will happily like keep getting broken here in order to in order to get to the end. There you go. Now the video started. Only well, only took us like seven minutes. Only took us like seven minutes, and now with this reverse gravity, this is orientating as balls. Oh. What happens if I turn like my monitor upside down? I could change like my settings to turn my monitor upside down, but I don't know if that's like going to help at all. Maybe it would. Maybe that's like the whole key. You're supposed to like use your mechanic to switch the monitor or use your settings to switch the monitor upside down. In order to in order to be able to do this, so I need to like roll off, hit that, bounce, 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 bounce. No, I think, I think I do need to have the monitor switched upside down, or we're never we're never going to get anywhere here. Oh, there we go. Where does this take me? There, to there. We did it. We did it. I need a star bounce. I can't remember how to use these star bounces. Is it just a second A jump? And then where would be the best place to activate this? Because when you did this before, you had to hit the top of it, but this doesn't hit the top of it. So I guess it's like, I don't even remember how to activate this. Maybe it would be a good idea if we figured out how to do this. Okay, so it's B. So we are going to screw up here, but it is B. So if we rolled along it, and then press B, that should work. Okay, not too difficult. Not too difficult. We will definitely have to split these later levels into two, though. So we're going. Falling, we press B, and we make it. Okay. And there's the checkpoint. Grab our glowy orb. We'd like to at least maybe be five levels. Go, 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 go. Yes. But yeah, I would maybe like to be five levels per sitting. And that would take us up to about a nice 20 minutes, hopefully. Okay. Or maybe we'll only beat three. Because all the balls. This is uh, not easy. There's that broken. Wait, what's that? That just breaks that. Oh, no. I understand. We've got to break it and then get back. We've got to break it and get back. The Ice Blade is now playing Clicker Heroes. So then we can like slide through and die. Ooh. Okay then, we're gonna break this, and then there's a checkpoint. So you know what, I think three levels, considering like how hard the dark levels seem to be here, three levels will be fine. So we will beat this level, and then we'll end it there. I think that's, that is an okay, that is an okay, worthwhile thing to, to accomplish. So then we're gonna... Nearly, nearly. So we'll do this, and we're good. So we go through, hit that, and there you go. Level three. All right. So that's going to be about 14 minutes. It was seven and seven. So uh, do we do one more to like take it up to 20 minutes? Well, Spyro, are you got? Are you sure that you can beat the level in in the given amount of time? Uh, well, we've made it to the checkpoint, so I think we can quickly skeet through this level. There you go. Did I die? Yes, I died. Fallen star got me. So it would help if I actually pressed the button to activate it, but there you go. So maybe we could have sped through all the rest of these levels, because technically they're going to get easier but harder at the same time, because we are going backwards. Wait, these are actually getting like really simple now. That's crazy how simple these are getting. But oh well, I mean, uh, do we, I don't know. What, what do you think? Do we, do we keep 
should run in. Do we keep it going here? Landed it. I guess we're on C4. I don't want the recording to crash, so one second. So according to Camtasia, we're at 15 minutes, so there's, you know, there's a chance that we can beat this in five minutes and take it up to a nice 20. We had a bit of a shaky start, but hey, we beat it and now we've got to like go out here, haven't we, in order to, in order to make our dreams a reality. Dreams are going to become a reality and then we could, oh well, I guess we didn't even have to go across the top, but whatever, this is going to be pretty simple. Oh, actually, I remember this, this is the, the rolly things, isn't it? But then again, it's looking quite simple, you know what? I think that Mercury, oh well that was bad, but I think Mercury 10 was probably the hardest level and now it's just a, a gentle wind down to the end. What happens if I... I think this one we've actually got to like jump and land on it rather than trying to roll onto it. The first one we could roll onto, but this one we've just gotta do a little jump. Okay. It's alright, we can wait. We'll just we don't die, do we? No, we can just wait, then we can just roll through. Yeah, it's gonna be easy now. It's gonna be so easy. And then we have to Gravity's reverse, so this should actually be a lot easier, should it, should it not? Am I being silly, but surely if we land on this one, we just roll off. Now, we can't just roll off, but it seemed to me like it was going to be a lot easier. Especially if we just kind of like roll onto them and time our jumps appropriately to get over these. We want enough air time to be able to catapult ourselves over and in. There you go, this will be Mercury done. Beautiful. It's just like the Fallen Star one where all you've got to do is dodge the Fallen Stars, which is going to be nice and simple. So, this is going to be... Oh, come on now. This is going to be like the end. Oh, but of course, because it's, it's reversed, I'm thinking like, oh, we're untouchable. Like, once this star goes past, we're untouchable, but you have to remember, Sparrow, the gravity is reversed, so the star will be reversing itself, like so, and there is the end. All we got to do is pass this one star, which we can easily do by just, like, going whoop and boop. There we go. Mercury is completed. Only three levels away from the end. I think it's going to start picking up and being a lot easier now. Mercury was probably our hardest challenge, so... Thank you all for watching this episode of 6180 The Moon. If you enjoyed the video despite the derp up near the beginning, feel free to leave a like. If you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next one.